We start tonight with a federal lawsuit filed by gun rights advocates challenging a new Colorado law banning so-called ghost guns. And a ban on those privately made and untraceable firearms officially went into effect today. Denver 7's Brandon Richard explains why they've become so controversial. On Monday, Colorado became the latest state to ban so-called ghost guns, which are guns that have no serial number, including guns that can be bought online and assembled at home without a background check. Any other gun, you know the owner, or at least you can trace it to a person, but ghost gun is untraceable. That makes it even more dangerous. State Representative Junie Joseph sponsored the legislation. It requires Colorado ghost gun owners to have their guns serialized by a licensed dealer and undergo a background check. Failure to do so can result in them being charged with a class one misdemeanor for the first offense and a class five felony for subsequent offenses. In a country where we care deeply about the rule of law and justice, we should not have ghost guns in our community. Authorities say the Club Q shooter and the student who shot two administrators at Denver's East High School last year possessed ghost guns. And law enforcement officials who supported the bill said ghost guns are being used in more crimes. But opponents say banning ghost guns will do little to improve safety. A criminal who doesn't want to go through a background check, in my opinion, colleagues, isn't just going to throw up their hands and say, well, I guess I can't commit that crime now. The Rocky Mountain gun owners announced a federal lawsuit Monday seeking to have the ban overturned. The group's executive director said this law is an outright assault on the constitutional rights of peaceable Coloradans. It's not just an overreach, it's a direct defiance to our Second Amendment freedoms. Joseph says she's saddened the ban is being challenged. We know for sure that these Coloradans, they want gun violence prevention laws in place. So that flies in the face of what the community wants. According to the gun control advocacy group Everytown, Colorado joins a dozen other states with laws regulating ghost guns. Brandon Richard, Denver 7. Going in depth, the use of ghost guns and crimes in the U.S. has risen more than 1,000 percent since 2017. That's according to a federal report by the Department of Justice. The report also found more than 90 percent of ghost guns were bought by males with the biggest age group between 21 and 25 years old.